Why are so many young childless men getting the snip? Yeah, needless to say, that headline uh, grabbed my attention. Not just because it would seem a bit alarming, but because I had a sneaking suspicion that the reason why might tie into a certain trend among millennials, both men and women, over the past three or four years of an increased aversion to having children for a reason that you might not suspect. Anyway, the article outlines testimonial from Dr. Justin Lowe detailing the rise of vasectomies among men in their 20s who don't have and don't want kids. It's not unusual from between a third to half of his patients on any given day to be childless, and it's got to the point where a certain so many of these men are in their 20s and childless that his organization had to start offering compulsory counseling to any childless men under the age of 30 who want to get a vasectomy. His observations are in line with Medicare figures in Australia, which show the number of Australian men under the age of 25 getting vasectomies has more than doubled since 2015, and in the last financial year during the pandemic grew by 26%. The number of men aged 25 to 34 having the procedure also rose 22% in 2020 to 21. But to be in your early to mid 20s and want to call an immediate halt to the prospect of procreation permanently, regardless of what the future may hold, is quite confronting. As such, there must be a real stirring reason why this is happening among younger men. But is it for the reason I suspect it? The childless patients in Lowe's clinic fall largely into two unusual groups. First, there are the men who might be described as display displaying an inverse biological imperative or a deep certainty that they never want to be a father. Then there are the ones who say to me, I just don't want to bring children into a world like this, Lowe says. It's about sustainability for them. It's about climate change. And there it is. Climate change, I was correct. Now let's continue. No, you have not stumbled onto Daisy Cousins' channel. I am still the anti-woke warrior. And I'm not partnering with Daisy Cousins, at least not that I'm aware of. But um, please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and make sure that you're still subscribed. Click that bell for notifications. And let's get into this video. Now, if first off, if you don't know who Daisy Cousins is, she obviously is a YouTuber. And she is much more conservative than I am. So if you are a conservative, you will probably like her material quite a bit. So go check her out. Now, she says that men are getting the snip because of climate change. They don't want to have children. I'm sure that men are getting the snip because of climate change. I know this to be the case. Over 20 years ago, I met a couple in their early 30s who were not having children. And they said the reason that they were not going to have children was because the way things were going in the world, they thought that all humans were going to be, going to be dead soon. So they didn't want to bring a children into such a world. Now, whatever soon means to them, because it's been over 20 years, humans are still here we haven't even come close to going extinct in that time so i don't know what they meant by soon maybe you could ask them and i'm sure there are other plenty of other men out there who want to get the snip because of climate change or as i call it the true name global warming the article she is referring to is behind a paywall apparently you have to pay to access the australian i don't really see a need to do that because i don't think i'm going to be reading the australian other than this one time so Let's take a look at what she says is happening. She says that um, there's a clinic in Sydney where this doctor, Dr. Lowe, has seen an increase in young men getting snipped. And he's concerned because these men don't have any children. Why do they want to do this? And the young men come out and say, it's global warming. Yeah, and as I said, that very well could be the case. There's another group that she mentions in there, you know, men who just don't want to have children. Either way, that is very limited data that we have because we're dealing with one city in one country and we're dealing with men of a certain age group, and only those men who can afford to go through this procedure. I don't know what Australia is like as far as healthcare is concerned. I think they have some sort of nationalized healthcare system in Australia, and I've met some people who complain about it. I've never been to Australia, never lived in Australia. Maybe somebody who is Australian can um, clue me in. But what's my opinion? Are men getting getting cut because of global warming? I stated, yeah, they, they are, but that sounds to me like it's an excuse. First off, Dr. Lowe could be mistaken. He could be lying. The patients he's seeing could be mistaken or could be lying. It's possible a person does not know his or her true intentions. People have those feelings all the time. They don't understand why they're doing what they're doing. More likely they're lying and they're telling you this so they have a reason to put off any kind of naysayers. Uh, and Daisy does talk about that later on in the video. I'll leave a link to the video down in the, the um, comments. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out on a limb and say that there's another reason why. If these men are smart, and I think that they are smart enough to figure this out, there's another reason why they are getting cut. And is this right here, for example. Kansas sperm donor ordered to pay child support prepares for battle. That was in 2012. Well, later on, Kansas court says sperm donor must pay child support. And then even a little bit later on, judge orders sperm donor to pay child support. All referring to this Kansas man who ended up having to pay child support. <sighs> it gets better. Sperm donor sued for support almost 20 years after donation argues 
New Ontario law protects him. Well, this has been going on in Canada for a while, it sounds like. Hey, Pennsylvania court orders sperm donor to lesbian couple to pay child support. Great. Yes, Superior Court here panel last week ordered a Dauphin County judge to establish how much Carl Frampton Jr. would have to pay to the birth mother of eight-year-old boy and seven-year-old girl. Wow. You have to pay back child support on that too. That could be a lot. If you're looking at eight years old at $100 a month, let me do some quick math on that for you. 100 times 12 times eight. $9,600 $9,600 just for that one child and about $1,200 less for the other child. If you're looking at $17,000 for those two kids that you just have to pay, if you don't have that in your bank account, good luck. Huh, can a sperm donor be forced to pay child support? Dear straight dope, huh? The response is nobody's really sure. Nobody's really sure. You can bank on the idea that, hey, you know what? I, I decided to make a couple extra bucks when I was in my 20s, go down to the local sperm bank, and uh, hey, I now owe thousands and thousands of dollars to a woman I never met. Yeah, sounds like a good time to me. Court voids ruling that sperm donor must pay child support. Here's one that's a little bit better news, but it's kind of disturbing uh, if you read through this article. When it comes to deciding whether a sperm donor should pay child support, a judge should follow the paternity laws of the state where the child is conceived a north carolina appeals court ruled this week okay so if that state says that hey you're the father because it's your genetic material in there sorry you gotta pay (sighs) ow i hope none of you out there watching this ever donated sperm look you don't even get any of the fun it says right here where the child was conceived so you don't even get to have the fun parts you just do it in a cup and then the lady takes it Okay, this one happened in England. Gay sperm donor told to pay child maintenance for his two children. His two children, in quotes, his. I am shocked, shocked. Well, not that shocked. 13 years ago, Mark Langridge helped a lesbian couple have a family. Now it's costing him 26 pounds a week. That's 104 pounds a month minimum. What is that, like $130? a month not a terribly large amount of money but still that's money that just evaporates from your bank account there's nothing you can do about it the government can step in and say hey look this is coming right out of your check every two weeks (sighs) sperm donor to lesbian couple forced to pay child support a firefighter who donated sperm to a lesbian couple said yesterday that he was being made to pay child support for their son and daughter in a case believed to be the first of its kind in britain so this might be the same one although his name is andy bathy And this guy right here is Mark Langridge. So they're different people. And it, uh, of course, is not just in regards to sperm donors. Anything you do, man, you need to protect that seed. You need to flush that down the toilet every single time you release that. It cannot get to a woman if you do not want to pay child support for a child. You will never see in most cases. You will never be a father to. You get none of the benefits in this situation. The Spurglers, I was desperate for a baby, so I spurgled a man and tricked him into getting me pregnant. We know this happens. It happened to Eddie Murphy a few years ago. I was just listening to NPR over the weekend, and they were interviewing some woman on there, and she's like, well, you know, I'm, I'm trying to find a rich man to get me pregnant so I can be on Easy Street the rest of my life. And she said it like it was, you know, the thing that you do. Like, that's, that's how you live life. I mean, don't you know? Woman uses sperm from oral sex to get pregnant and force child support. What? What the fuck? I'm going to leave links to all these down in the comment section. Every single one of these um, articles. So you can read through them on your own. Here's one that's just horrifying to me. Dad learned sons were not his after 21 years. And he'd been infertile since birth. Chills running through my body right now. I am horrified for this man. He went out and created a family. And it wasn't even his own. And he had he had no idea this family that he created was not his own. For 21 years. <sighs> I've got goosebumps too. Because this is just heart wrenching to me. I, I feel so sorry for this guy. I I don't I don't know um, what I would do. It was uh, 2019, so not that long ago, man. Oh man. I hope I hope he's all right. Devastated, Mr. Mason had no idea he wasn't the boy's biological dad until two years ago, when he was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis. Yeah. And this is where you could be sitting. I had a vasectomy five years ago. My girlfriend says she's pregnant with my child. My question is, when should I tell her the child isn't mine? This is the position you want to be sitting in, man. 
This one here, uh, you got to read a little bit through this to get to uh, the important part. But girlfriend is pregnant, but she doesn't know I, 29-year-old male, had a vasectomy a few years ago. I've been sitting on this information for a few hours. My mind is still processing, so I'm still partly feeling numb, but also feel hurt and angry. So we officially started our relationship about five months ago, but we had been friends for about a year and really liked each other. By the time I did ask her out, my feelings were pretty strong. Today, she told me she was late and bought a couple pregnancy tests to confirm that, yeah, pregnant. She was pretty shocked and can't believe we're going to be parents. And until this point, we haven't talked about kids like at all because obviously she doesn't know I had a vasectomy. One thing is obvious, I'm not the father and she's acting like I am or at least wants to believe I am. We have been together for months already and now I'm finding out she slept with some other guy. Yeah, you know, better to be this guy than to be Richard Mason here. Whew, that's a rough one. What position would you rather be in? Now, before you run out and get a vasectomy, you do need to know one thing, man. It is not always reversible. And that is not a 100% guarantee that you will not impregnate a woman. It can heal itself so that you can impregnate a woman again. And you might not be able to get a reversal on it if you ever do want to have children in the future. Uh, it's a crazy mixed up world out there. If you ever let that out of your body, make sure that nobody can get a hold of it because you could be on the hook Years later, you could be on the hook for up to 24 years of payments, by the way. It's not 18. We always hear it's 18. It's 18. No, 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 no. If that kid goes to college, you could be paying for 24 years. And hey, guess what, women? This affects you too. Because if you marry a man who has children from a previous relationship, those children can come after you for child support if it was not paid. My mother was not my father's first wife. And she has all those receipts, all of them, because her stepkids can come and say, hey, you know what? I wasn't paid. <sighs> Make sure that you're very careful with this stuff. Lock it down. Get into a relationship with somebody you can, tr you can trust if you're going to have children and stay with that person for the rest of your life or the rest of their life, whichever ends sooner. Don't go messing around with anybody else because you're going to end up owing who knows how much. Who knows how much you could you could be on the hook for. And, you know, it, the sad thing is it's, it's very simple. We could solve this problem very easily, at least to a great degree we could solve the problem. Simply by saying you have to pay child support, and that child support is based on half of the average cost it takes to raise a child in your state and county. That stops spurgling. You, the spurglers will no longer be going after men. What benefit would it, would it do them? Oh, you mean I'm going to make $300 a month? That's, pff, that's nothing. It's not, it's not worth my time because it's enough to basically pay for the child. That's it. It might be worth it for health insurance. Okay. It might be worth it if you really desperately want a child, but you don't want a husband or a father in your life, but you're still going to have that man going, Hey, I, I deserve parental rights. <sighs>
please be sure to drop a like on the video. It only takes a second, and I'll see you in the next one.